While most stars tend to age over time just like everyone else, some celebs seem to become different people overnight. From onset injuries to botched plastic surgeries to the everlasting cruelty of Father Time, here are some stars you'd have a hard time recognizing on the street today. Shelley Duvall you probably know her best from The Shining or Popeye, but actress Shelley Duvall hardly resembles the woman who stunned on screen all those years ago. While her looks are certainly different, as one might expect for an actress now in her 60s, the more stunning transformation has been a mental one. Since her retirement in 2002, Duvall has lived the life of a recluse at her home in Texas, and in a November 2016 appearance on The Dr. Phil Show, Duvall revealed just how deep her mental problems go. I loved Robin Williams. I don't think he's dead. Where do you think he is? Shape-shifting. While Dr. Phil pledged to help Duvall with her apparent mental illness, not everyone was thrilled about her appearance on the show. In an open letter, Vivian Kubrick, daughter of The Shining director Stanley Kubrick, condemned Dr. Phil and his show for using Duvall in what she called lurid and exploitative entertainment. Kubrick called on others to join her in boycotting the show. Priscilla Presley whether you know her as Elvis Presley's widow or as Jenna Wade from the long-running television show Dallas, you might have a hard time recognizing Priscilla Presley these days. The business magnate and former Dancing with the Stars contestant reportedly had an unfortunate run-in with an unlicensed plastic surgeon. The expensive European silicone that her surgeon, Dr. Daniel Serrano, was injecting his clients with was actually industrial-grade silicone sourced from Serrano's native country of Argentina. Several of his clients developed issues after his misleading treatments, and Serrano was brought up on federal charges for his actions. He pled guilty to several of the charges in 2006 and was sentenced to 18 months in federal prison. While he's now served his debt to society, many of Serrano's victims, including Presley, will have to live with the effects of his treatments for a lifetime. Melanie Griffith Actress Melanie Griffith is part of a whole family of stars. She's the daughter of actress Tippi Hedren and mother of Dakota Johnson. She made her big screen debut in 1975's Night Moves and continued her early career with racy roles in movies like The Drowning Pool. She finally found her breakout role when she played secretary Tess McGill in the 1988 film Working Girl. But when you compare photos of Griffith as the naturally pretty young woman of the 80s and 90s with pictures of her today, she's barely recognizable. Part of the difference is likely due to an onset incident from her early years. While filming Roar in 1977, Griffith was was mauled by a lioness. The attack to her face required 50 stitches to repair, but the scars are still reportedly visible. Though there have been rumors that Griffith has also had an ongoing love affair with plastic surgery, it seems likely that the natural loss of skin elasticity has contributed to Griffith's current face, which now is more Hollywood matron than fresh face starlet. Jennifer Grey Dirty Dancing star Jennifer Grey practically dropped off the Hollywood map as soon as she etched a place in it. After her career-defining roles in Ferris Bueller's Day Off and Dirty Dancing, Grey's acting career was halted in its tracks by two ill-advised nose jobs, which rendered Grey practically unrecognizable to fans. And now I feel so stupid. Grey kept a fairly low profile for decades until she made a public comeback on season 11 of Dancing with the Stars, which she won with partner Derek Huff. Uma Thurman Actress Uma Thurman catapulted to fame in Quentin Tarantino's 1994 cult classic Pulp Fiction and maintained her fame thanks to her role as a steely-eyed bride in the director's Kill Bill movies. Over the decades, Thurman's appearance had not changed much, but in 2015 she revealed a drastically new look, one that would draw ire from fans and tabloids who thought the star may have gone under the knife. Thurman would later address the matter by pegging it as a mere makeup experiment. I guess nobody liked my makeup, you know? <laughs> I mean, like, I've been doing this for years and years and years, and. People say things nice and they say things mean. But even so, subsequent appearances confirm that she's definitely changed in recent years for one reason or another. Nick Nolte once one of Hollywood's most prominent male stars, Nick Nolte was at the top of his game throughout the 80s and 90s, and thanks to his Oscar-nominated role in 1991's The Prince of Tides, People magazine even named Nolte its sexiest man alive in 1992. As he's aged, though, Nolte has appeared less frequently on the silver screen and made headlines in 2002 when he was arrested for driving under the influence, which made his particularly unflattering mugshot photo national gossip fodder. While he definitely looks more in control of himself today, it's clear that Nolte hardly resembles his younger self now that he's in his 70s. Anthony Michael Hall Brat Packer Anthony Michael Hall first made waves as the prototypical geek guy in teen classics like The Breakfast Club, Sixteen Candles, and Weird Science. Am I turning you on? Hall managed to successfully branch out from the nerd typecasting of his early roles by joining the cast of Saturday Night Live when he was only 17, and continued his string of successes in the 90s with roles like the villain in Edward Scissorhands. Hall later made a name for himself among television fans with his portrayal of psychic Johnny in the series adaptation of Stephen King's The Dead Zone. Despite keeping busy, Hall definitely sports a much different look from his early geek days. By the way, I still don't know what the hell I'm doing. Axel Rose 
Guns N' Roses frontman Axl Rose has come a long way from his hard-rocking sex symbol status of the 80s and 90s. The platinum-selling recording artist has gone through multiple transformations over the years, including his cornrow phase and his more recent weight issues. The singer embarked on a mission to relaunch his career in 2016 with a Roses reunion tour and also by filling in as the frontman for ACDC on the rest of their tour after Brian Johnston had to quit. Despite the changes to his look over the last three decades, fans and reviewers who have seen him in action during his 2016 comeback agree that he's still got the impressive vocal control and range that made him a force to be reckoned with all those years ago. Thanks for watching. Click the Nikki Swift icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.